Hello, this is Caleb Barney with Russell Real Estate, and today I wanted to go over uh, something that I heard about in a recent podcast where they were saying that 50-year mortgages are being discussed as potential options here in the U.S. Um, for those of you who are unfamiliar with 50-year uh, mortgages, they did pop up um, a little before the Great Recession um, back in 08, and they didn't really make a ton of sense. It was in certain areas and not offered by all lenders, but Here's why I think it's not going to make sense. Basically, what the banks or whatever lender is going to be potentially offering this type of program, they're just trying to get more business, which I understand as a business, um, you need to survive and you need to do what makes sense for that business. But as a consumer, it's not going to make sense. Um, and really why I think it's going to hurt more people than help is that realistically, you know, most people have heard that we have had a housing inventory problem in the past two years, and essentially it's a supply and demand issue. So when you heard last summer that if a home was priced well, you'd get 10 to 12 offers within the first week of it being listed on the market, that's kind of the easiest way to describe it. Okay, you have 12 buyers trying to fight for one house. So there was a major supply or lack of supply issue and just way too much demand. And part of that was because housing affordability was at all time uh, lows uh, as far or I should say highs. Uh, housing was very affordable then because interest rates were extremely low. So now what the Fed has been doing, um, they've been trying to combat inflation, but also part of that is going to be increasing interest rates for mortgages and they don't directly influence what uh, mortgage interest rates are doing but when they increase their federal funds rate that does have an indirect correlation with uh with what's going on with mortgage interest rates then so the banks are seeing more and more people being uh, potential buyers being pushed out because they can no longer qualify for mortgages so a couple weeks ago, I posted something about uh, Bank of America offering a 0% down, zero closing costs, and no minimum credit score program. There was another bank or another lender that's offering a 40-year interest only for the first 10 years uh, program. And they're really trying to push like, hey, we're trying to help out the buyers. We're trying to get more people qualified. But we are finally starting to see a more balanced market because demand and inventory, so supply and demand, are starting to even out a little bit. When you start pushing these 50-year mortgages, these 40-year interest-only loans, and these 0% down um, with no minimum credit score programs, you're trying to essentially bring up that demand and allow more people to qualify for mortgages. So again, they're trying to help, quote-unquote, more people um, get into or being able to afford a house. But what that, that's really going to do is it's going to actually drive up the demand so great again that housing, we're finally getting to a point where you don't have to go 30000 over asking um, and you can get deals at asking or sometimes slightly below in my market. And we're going to basically make that not possible again if we flood the market with a ton of extra demand. So on the surface, yes, this looks great. It looks like it's altruistic. Hey, we're trying to get more people to become homeowners. But realistically, I think it's a band-aid where it's just going to be a very short term. Okay, now's your chance. You better jump into it right now. Because if there's a 50 year mortgage, um, I can almost guarantee that a lot of investors are going to be jumping into the market as well uh, if they've been holding off because why not have a fixed rate um, over the long haul and just have tenants pay it off for you. So those are just my thoughts for the day. Uh, if you have any questions or if you want to talk about this, let me know. Otherwise, have a great day.